So welcome to challenge two. In challenge two, we're exploring one of my favorite tools, Magic Move. So to do that, uh, one easy way that I've enjoyed is just animating an array. So choose a number that is easily broken up into different groups. Um, more than one group makes it more fun, but that's okay if you pick another one. We're gonna look at shapes and formatting just so we can change from colors, but the big seller here is Magic Move. Magic Move is an animation for um, a whole slide, a transition, and it makes magic happen. The goal is for our end clip to look like this. So just to get started, this time we're on an iPad. Of course, you can do this on a Mac. I get my background ready. Again, zooming out and clearing the page. Could have used one of those text boxes, but sometimes the brain isn't 100%. <laughs> so I wanna start off my clip with really focusing on the number. Uh, so I'm gonna set a really nice large 12 so that everybody knows that's the number we're exploring. So I'm just in the format option under the paintbrush. Um, again, on your Mac, you look for that format tab and it has all of my options there for font and size, color. So I'm gonna copy that slide and paste a second one. And the first slide, I actually wanna turn the number smaller and change the opacity. This will let magic moves do its magic. I'm altering the exact same object though. That's the trick to magic moves. So I'm gonna tap on the slide um, to look for my transitions and tap on transition. That lets me choose my animations for my slides. And as I tap there on the bottom, I see magic move. Uh, it's one of my favorites, so it's always at the top. Uh, and you can see the preview, it's already looking awesome. So when I go to say done in the top right corner, it's gonna ask me to duplicate the slide. This time we're gonna say cancel, but it will help us later on as we're doing our animations. So now I want 12 dots that will actually come around. So I've gone to the plus sign to add uh, my shape tab to get a shape and I'm going to change the color. Now again, I'm a little lazy, so I'll tap on that object um, and copy and paste so that I don't need to create them again and they're all the same size. Now when I'm doing this, I'm putting them all around the edges because later on I want them to magically come move onto the screen. So that's where I'm going to line them up and with a little bit of movie magic, we'll speed up the process there till we have 12 of them. So now that I have my 12 objects, I'm tapping on the slide and I'm gonna use my transition tools again to add magic move. So I'm going to want all of these objects to come together and this is where I do want them to duplicate the slide for me because then I don't um, need to do that. So now I'm gonna move each of my objects onto the slide. Magic moves will do all of the hard work and understand where the object was before, where it's ended up and create the motion in between. So just in the interest of time, moving magic again. So again, we're gonna tap on our slide tap on transition and add that magic move in. We want to duplicate a slide again because we want to rearrange our objects. So I want to go from this random layout to a more organized layout and I want 12 to hang out in the corner. So I've changed the size and rearranged it again, keeping that same object. And now I want there to be those two rows of six. Now those yellow guidelines will help you keep everything lined up. Um, really helpful as you go along. Now this is okay, but I really want it to stand out. Um, so I want them to really notice that there's two different groups. So I'm gonna hold on a shape and choose them all and then change the color so that they see two different colored rows. And again, just hold and tap on the rest as you're holding that first one and it will let you select them all. So just to see that in action. We're already off to a great start. 
and I continue those steps a couple more times till I get as many arrays as possible out of my number 12 that will fit on the screen. So again, by default, our animations and our transitions are all set to be on click, but when we're making a video, we really want those to be automatic. So on an iPad, our build order timing options are really under that animation. So when you tap on magic move, you're gonna see that timeline pop up so we can really drag out the time. Uh, we're gonna again say automatically, and then there's that little timeline, so just drag it across. I probably was a little sluggish on this one and probably could have gone a little faster um, in my timing, but that's where you really have to play with it to get that just right fit for your clip. Once I have my timing right, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna tap on those three dots in the corner and export as movie, and uh, it does its movie magic. Once it's processed, I'll get an option to share and I'll save it to my camera roll. Can't wait to see what you animate. A razor, only the beginning.